So we're back. We've uh, put the harvested vermicompost into this bucket and I'd say it's uh, probably a gallon and a half to two gallons, something like that. Uh, it's still got, as you can see, a lot of colimbolids in it, but it's uh, a nice uh, consistent material. Uh, I may keep an eye on this for a few days and watch it. It'll, it'll have a sealed lid on it so it won't lose any moisture, but it it's just slightly on the dry side, a little drier than I usually uh, like to see it when it's going into to storage. But it's going to be used fairly quickly, so uh, it shouldn't lose any, uh, you know, any any moisture to speak of. Okay, let's go back and harvest the second tray. I've pulled the second tray out, and uh, let's start out by getting some of the the big pieces out of here. Maybe a few of the few of the worms that are near the surface. There's a few big pieces. Actually this side of the the Oscar bin seems to be a little bit closer to harvestable than the other side and it does seem like on this end of the of the bin which is closer to the the heating system does have more worms uh, but it's really hard to, hard to say without actually doing a sampling. So we'll do the same thing here that we did in the other bin, or the other tray. We'll uh, sift this material out, rescue the worms, and uh, you can see there's a few more worms here than there are than there were on the other side. Uh, so we'll rescue these guys and then sift that out. The whole process here doesn't really doesn't really take that long. And once we once we get into the habit of harvesting regularly, we should be able to do it in probably 10 minutes per session, maybe slightly longer, uh, depending on how much we're getting and so forth. But uh, the other thing we can do too is if it takes a little longer to harvest, we can harvest more often. So uh, we, we've got a few options here. You can see that there's a few worms here. The material is uh, fairly consistent. It's uh, nice and nice and fluffy. It's not not real wet. We'll do this in just one more one more step here. See, it's uh, sifting out nicely, and it's fairly quick. This uh, screen that we use is—I'm uh, not sure what it is in millimeters because that's how they how they measure it. But uh, it's uh, pretty close to being a quarter inch. We do have some smaller screens and some larger screens, but I think this is probably the screen that works the best. The other thing that's going on with this vermicompost, which we probably won't be able to show you, is that there's a fair number of cocoons uh, in it. And uh, from time to time in the past when we've harvested vermicompost from other bins, uh, we've gone back to the to the buckets where the vermicompost is stored and over time worms hatch out and uh, continue feeding on the, on the material in the bucket. So we've even rescued them out of the bucket uh, any number of times. So uh, if you're concerned about losing any of your worms or if you have a low population and you're trying to increase your population and maximize your production of worms then you want to rescue as many as you possibly can. So that looks like pretty much everything out of there. And uh, we'll sift this one more time. A couple of worms in there. A couple of larger chunks. And spread this out a bit. Maybe even bury some of these larger pieces here to give the worms a chance to to eat it. We'll cover it up. Oh, there's another worm. And uh, we'll put this material into into our harvested bucket, and we'll see how much we got here. I'm 
thinking we're probably going to have about three to four gallons uh, today. Uh, weight wise, uh, I'm not real sure. I pretty much go by gallons. So I think we got a real strong, real strong three gallons. Not quite four. Three, three and a half gallons, I guess. But uh, both sides of the bin seem to be fairly consistent. The material is nice and moist and crumbly, but it's not uh, not overly wet or uh, or soggy or muddy or anything, which we've seen from other bins. So the system seems to be working, and uh, so that's uh, pretty much it from our first harvest from the Oscar bin. This is Mike with the Strawberry Store. See you later.